Hey, what is up guys, it's Gino here and welcome to today's tutorial, which is going to be a very quick and simple one. We are going to cover auto layout extensions that are very useful for you and that are very useful for me since I use them myself. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. Hey, what is up guys? So to show you the useful extension that, I, that I'm talking about, I want to quickly go over the conventional way of doing auto layout. So let's get right into it. and. You should be familiar with using auto layout, so this should not be new to you because this is, this is not a tutorial aimed towards beginners, okay? So I will go get go over this very quickly and just to show you the conventional way that you should know by now. So I want to anchor our test view, which is a of a background red, it's just a normal view, it's not, it's not anything special, so it's going to show us a red view on our screen. So we want to constrain it to the top anchor of our view and activate it like so. Pretty standard stuff. I'll copy that so I don't have to type it in. I'm very lazy. Leading anchor. Trailing bottom anchor. We don't need that for our left leading and trailing anchor. Um, leading anchor, trailing anchor, bottom anchor. And let's not forget to add our sub view, like so. And now we should see a red view on our screen, like so. And this is a very tedious way. It is not efficient at all. And it's, to be honest, it's not, not pretty too. Because we have to set this translates auto resizing mask into constraints for every single view that we are using, and then we have to activate every single time uh, the constraints, etc., etc. And it's very, it's not, it's not good. So I will comment this out, and I will show you the new way or the better way to do it that I'm using. Um, so we are cons extending U the UI view like this, and we are adding a function called add and as our parameter we are having a parameter name of sub view of which of type UI UI view and as you can guess this is our sub view which means we're passing in our test view right here and as our second parameter it's going to be a closure called create constraints and here we're passing in two parameters as well which is going to be the view or the sub view that we are using which is the test view and the parent view which is our view here from our view controller and we are expecting on returning a an array of NS layout constraints and the first step is to add our sub view like so to the view and we are creating now an, a new function called activate to activate all the constraints at once and as a parameter we are also expecting an array constraints an array of NS layout constraints like so set the translates auto recessing mask in the constraints to false for every single view and lastly let's not forget to activate constraints dot activate oh sorry <coughs> activate our constraint uh, sorry and it's layout constraint not activate our constraints like so and now we can pass it in here we can say subview dot activate our constraints that we are creating right now for our subview and our self the self is the parent view that we are adding the subview to okay now this is done now I want to show you how it looks like. You have a function here called add and as you can see the parameters, this is the right function that we're looking for. 
press enter pass in your test view or your view that, want, that, that, that you want to use auto layout for call it view and parent view just a VNP just to make it clear and short we don't need this you can add in and open bracket press enter and that's it now we can uh, put in our constraints that we need into this box here okay into now let's try it out our view here is going to be a test view and our parent view here is going to be our view that we are adding it to so can can say view the top anchor constraint to p dot save area guide dot top anchor like so a separator here comma add it add it and now we can do the same like above change it all up to the correct constraints leading anchor trading anchor bottom anchor okay let's run the app and let's see how it turns out as you can see it is working and we don't have to set translates auto resasking mask for every single sub view we don't have to activate is equals true to uh, for every single constraint with which would be a heck of a lot of work for a very big project so this is a very convenient and easy way of doing it you are adding a sub view and, and activating the constraints at the same time hey thanks so much for watching my tutorial I hope you've learned something new today and I hope you're gonna use this auto layout extension yourself in future projects and if you have any questions or problems with the code, feel free to write a comment in the section below or send me an email and I'd be glad to answer them. As always, keep coding and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.